Hello everyone, my name is Rashmi Golia. I am teaching physics in 11th and 12th in Amrita Vidyalaya. Today I am going to talk about rectifiers. There are two types of rectifiers, full wave rectifier and half wave rectifier. Rectifier is a device which converts the alternating current to the direct current. Today I am going to talk about full wave rectifier. The devices which we use for the full wave rectifier is a transformer. The transformer which we are using here is a 12O12 transformer that is the peak to peak voltage is 24 volt. These are the two diodes here we have this is the anode, this is the cathode, this is positive, this is negative and a load resistance. This is a breadboard, this is LED and this is oscilloscope on which the output of this full wave rectifier is displayed. Here there are two types of transformers, step down transformer and step up transformers. Step up transformers are mostly used in industries where if we want to increase the voltage from 230 volt to thousands of kilo volt. Here we are using a step down transformer which is mostly used in homes. Here if we are feeding 230 volt to the primary coil that is as you can see that the number of turns in the primary coil is more and the number of turns in the secondary coil is less. So this is a step down transformer. Here, this step down transformer, it works on the principle of mutual inductance. When the current through this primary coil changes, the magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil changes and an EMF is induced into the secondary coil and a current starts flowing into the circuit. So this is the principle, it works on the principle of mutual inductance. Now, in the first positive cycle of the alternating current, the current flows from this point A is positive, this point B is negative. The current flows from diode D1 and through R. This is represented by the solid lines. Now the question which arises here, why the current is not flowing through diode D2? Because the diode D2 in the first cycle is in the reverse bias and we know that in the reverse mode, the diode offers infinite resistance to the flow of current. And so the current would like to take the path of the least resistance and complete the circuit. In the second AC cycle, this terminal becomes negative and this becomes positive. And now the current flows from the diode D2 and then through RL and completes the circuit. Again the current will not flow from D1 as D1 offers infinite resistance in the reverse bar. Here now this current, the flow of current is represented by the dotted lines and this here in this circuit we are using, we are exploiting the property of diodes that is unidirectional pro property of diodes. Here you can see that the input AC input at A is represented by this waveform. AC input at B point is represented by this point. Here you can see that this is the output for the half wave rectifier. So we can see that only the one part of the wave has got rectified and the negative part is clipped. Now if we connect the second diode also, we can see that we are getting a DC pulsating output. So the alternating current that is the or the AC voltage has got converted to the DC voltage and it is a DC pulsating voltage and which is the output of this oscilloscope. It, that output as it is shown in the figure and that output is displayed in the CRO that is cathode ray oscilloscope. So this is how a full wave rectifier works. Thank you.